Hi, my name is David Fultz. I live in uh, Warner Robins, Georgia. I want to talk to you today about sports betting, my experience betting college and pro online. Um, I first started this year. Um, this is 2011. Um, I just wanted to try it out and um, I went to a site and um, found a way to do a deposit and I wagered twenty dollars and I chose to do a parlay bet. Um, a parlay bet is where you're gonna have at least three games and you're gonna have to go by point spread and so it seems really hard, but the payoff is really good because I mine was like um, four, I think it was four games, and it was a twenty dollar bet, and almost in a, it it I won one hundred and forty two dollars, but it could have been two hundred eighty five because one of the t teams um, won by ten, which they were supposed to win by ten, so it you know. It made it, it made me, it cut the winning in half, cut the winning from 285 to 142. But anyways, then in the next, uh, next one, I was able to um, win 175. Again, it was a, but this one was um, a five game parlay. And um, what I figured out to do was not just to, um, not just to do one bet, but to do um, at least four parlay bets for the same teams, same games. Um, like this weekend I've got going on. Um, I'm doing a bet for this weekend. This coming weekend is, today is December 17th, 2011. Um, what I decided to do was, um, what I do is like, I'm gonna have four four games. Um, now, what you can do is you can take two games, and it won't matter who wins if you're gonna do if you're gonna do four bets. Because I always do right here, like I got Tampa, Tampa, um, let's see. Wait a second, some the crown, sorry. There they got me mixed up. Hold on. Well, you can go, sorry about that. Um, you can go, you can go Falcons, Falcons, Jags, Jags. They played Thursday night. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just, I'm writing it on a sheet. Okay. so. Falcons, Falcons, Jag, Jags. So, either way, after that, you know, you're going to have a winner. Okay, and then what you do is you put, let me see this. I put a Redskins under Falcons, Giants under Falcons. They're playing each other. And then I put Redskins under Jags and Giants under Jags. So, after that one, you're still in it. So... If you're doing, if you're going to do four, what you need to know is you need to try to pick two right. Um, there's a lot of places um, that give you um, um, help, you know, picking teams. Um, or if you're really um, confident about um, two teams, then use those two teams. 
Um, so like you have like I have you know Uh, bear with me. I have Falcons, Falcons, Jags, Jags, Redskins, Giants, Redskins, Giants, and then, um, let's see. And then I decided to go with um, Tampa, um, even though they're playing Dallas. And then the other one, um, Texans. So the other ones will be Tampa, 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 and then Texans, 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 Texans. So what it all comes down to is um and this is my list right here i know it's kind of hard to read but it shows you the teams and the point spreads the amount of money that i can win and those are small amounts that i played with um i deposit like maybe thirty dollars play seven dollars each each bet um Let's see, all I'm waiting on is Tampa tonight and playing Dallas. And if that, and if that is right, then I'm waiting on um, the Texans. Um, I usually, um, if you go through the internet and look and look and look, you can usually find a site. Um, and I would give you the name of the site, but I don't know if that's allowed. But statistics is a good is a good way to go by, and um, there is a site I found that um, gives advice based on statistics, and will even give advice um, based on what the point spread was, what they think. Um, really, you know, betting on football is hard, and I agree. You know, um, college is harder than um, pro, um, um, but I did, I started college and then now I'm doing pro because I started college because I felt I was more familiar with college teams and then now I'm doing pro because, you know, there's not as many, um, um, games right now. Um, like I said, one month I got a hundred forty-two dollars check, and then next month I got a hundred seventy-five dollar check. And I'm hoping it's going to be next month, but I'm hoping to get another check. Um, now, an even better way to win for sure is to do like because um, the five parlay is you know the one that pays a good bet if you're going to do a five parlay and win a five parlay that pays a good bet and i thought of another way was to do if you're trying to win a five parlay because the one i was just talking about was a four parlay but if you're trying to win a five parlay do um play it eight times play it eight different ways and have one team picked out as your definite team to win and you don't and you don't move it around or anything um so it really works well going you know with like um uh falcons falcons jags jags and then underneath um rotating it um um Redskins, Giants, Redskins, Giants. Um, and see if you did um, eight times, you could do it again. It's really hard to understand, and maybe I'll get some more charts and pictures. Um, but basically, 
when you're doing parlays, it's almost like playing bingo. Um, like when a person goes to play bingo, they get as many cards as they can, and which gives them more of a chance. Um, it's not always true, but it does help, you know, slim the odds. So that's how you want to do in parlay bets. It's just whatever you can to, to help your chances. Um, whether it's researching and finding out what other people are predicting. Um, a lot of teams are hard to tell. I mean, this one site had the Colts the last two weeks, and they did. They did it. Um, underdogs. Underdogs can do well. So you just never know. Uh, the time I had five right in the parlay, that 175, I had I had UCLA. I just happened to have UCLA in there and the row of the picks. Um, it was really close. Um, one of the games, the point spread was 16 and a half, and the team won by 17. Um, Anyways, um, trying to think other things I can tell you about it. Um, the football and the pro is really fun. Um, it makes it more interesting when you're watching the game and you're and you're um, you know and you're more interested in it. And and when you got some money and and you win some money, it's really fun. Um, I would just keep up with you know how much you're using and losing and uh, hopefully you can start out you know you know with what they call a bankroll I think a bankroll should be some money that maybe somebody gave you uh, for birthday or um, maybe tax return something or uh, something that if you lost you know you wouldn't notice it and um, you do have to be comfortable to lose <laughs> If you lose, you know, you lose, you know. Um, and there's other ways, you know, to bet. You can bet straight, you know, without the point spread. You don't have to worry about the point spread. You can just bet straight who wins or loses. Um, I believe in college or pro, they can't tie in a game anymore. Um, so that's always fun. Um but you can find the sites. There's lots of sites online um, to do sports betting. Um, some of them are easier than others. Um, there's two that I use. Um, and they're not very hard. You just sign up with them. Um, they require certain things for you to get paid to get a check. Um, they have their rules and stuff like that. Um, it's too bad not everybody has a Vegas, you know, nearby. That would be nice. Just go there, bet, place your bet. Um, but me, I'm in, I'm in Georgia, so I don't have that. But um, I've had fun with it, and I'd rather not bet with a friend or person I know, anyways, because it's kind of, you know, when you bet a friend or something like that, you know, it's kind of ugly. Or it can get ugly, especially when you win and you rub it in, or they rub it in. But I can tell you that it's that it's legit. The online betting, the sites I've found too, they're very good. Um, uh, there's one that I signed up for, and they gave me um, like an extra five dollars, um, and the ones I found, you can start off with a deposit um, as low as $20 so all your you know and even if you deposit $20 you don't have to bet the whole $20 you can bet so much on a game um, it was like I'll do four parlays and I'll do seven dollars each one so seven times four that's $28 so that's what I do and it's kind of fun to do it that way because that way you know like if you arrange it in a certain order you can be in it because today I'm hoping for um, 
Tampa to come within seven of Dallas. Um, we're open. Um, and then uh, if that comes true tonight, then uh, they need the Texans to, uh, to beat uh, Carolina Panthers by seven. Uh, they'll be at home. Uh, Texans seem to be a good team. Their, their record's 10 and three. Now, uh, Tampa, they're, they've only won four games, and Dallas has a much better record. Uh, if you've been paying attention, Dallas has been struggling. Uh, even the teams that they've won, uh, they haven't covered. Um, they are, they do have good defense, um, but we'll see what it, what happens down there in Tampa. Uh, they've lost two games in a row, I believe. Um, we'll see if their misfortune continues. Hopefully, um, I don't believe Dallas is a very good team. Um, no quarterback, no coach. No players, uh, just they're just like a <laughs> they're a bad team, uh, and who knows when they'll ever get. I mean, Dallas has had at least three coaches I can think of uh, since uh, what's his name left, um, maybe more. Um, they're lucky to have Romo because Parcells. You know, he was smart enough to pick out Roma. And, uh, anyways, uh, it's fun. Just have fun with it. And I'll do some more of these videos. And take care. See ya. Thanks for watching.